Well, hey everyone, and welcome to our physics homework tutorial. Uh, we hope you find this tutorial helpful in your study of physics, and if you do, please visit our website at www.physicsvodcast.com. There you're going to find over 200 physics examples in every topic of physics. Uh, it's sure to help you get through that physics homework. We'll see you then! Okay, here's our uh, second example of dimensional analysis. This is use the equation below to determine the label for acceleration. Acceleration being uh, noted with the script A there. Uh, so we need to think about what are the labels for D and T that are in our equation. Well, D stands for distance, so if I'm thinking about the distance, that is going to have a label of meters. And T represents time, and that is T squared. So whatever unit I use for that, which would be seconds, is going to be squared. Okay, now that we've identified our two base labels in this, distance and time are both base labels, now we're ready to find the label for an acceleration. And again, that means that acceleration would be considered a derived unit. From this, it's really just an algebra problem. Uh, write it out in the same form that the equation is. Distance is meters. So we replace that with meters. Notice that the one-half has no label. So we really don't need to even worry about the one-half for this part of the problem. Here's our acceleration. And again, we kind of use the brackets there just to show that we're talking about the label of it. And then the time would be the seconds squared. So now it's just an algebra problem to get acceleration by itself. To get acceleration by itself, we want to divide by second squared. Whatever we do on one side of the problem, we have to do on the other side of the problem. The second squared is now canceled out over here, and we're left with our final answer. The label for acceleration is simply meters divided by second squared, or meters per second squared.